Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. Today we're talking about PSA, Palmetto State Armory, and the new ARC. And something that no one's seen anywhere yet, the ARC-P. Let's say you're a guy out there and you want an AK, but you don't want to have to get AK magazines. You want to use the magazines you already have. What would you go to? What would you use? Well, that's where the ARK comes in and, of course, the very fun ARC-P. Let's get all into it right now. Joining us is Josiah of PSA. You guys have seen him here on the channel. He was awesome enough to bring these two guns down here for us to check them out. Josiah, how's it going? Good Thanks to have you. Thanks for having me down. Absolutely. And then Walter, my technical consultant over here. And crash test dummy. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Who's the ARC for? That's, I guess, the best way to pose my question. The ARC, this specific model, it's, mm -hmm. it's a 5.56 AK. For the AR gurus who want to get into the AK platform without mm -hmm. having to buy tons of new mags, the ARC is a good way to go. It has an adapter on there, on okay. the AK, that they can use a standard GI, the polymer, uh, brand new, type magazine. Stan egg type magazines, yeah. exactly. So how much AK is this? Is this like 50% AK, 75% AK? I'd say how much AR is it? It's 99% AK with uh, the only thing AR is going to be your uh, mag. Okay, so just the magwell here is modified to take the 556 five, mags in there, right? Correct. Okay, and then along with that, I think we've got several different controls for like uh, mag release. Correct. Right here you have your standard AR mm -hmm. style bolt release and you've got one so you can grip the mag from the bottom. Pull it out, okay. Mm -hmm. And another feature that uh, both the rifle and the pistol have is for your last round bolt holder. It has a last round bolt hold open and then push it down, slams the bolt. Hold. Okay, just so you guys know, this is the first time the Arc P has been shown anywhere in the world, right here on the Hacienda. Correct. This actually has lockback. Yeah. Nice. What's that? This has lockback. Yeah, both of them do. Oh, okay. Wait, can I show a, to people what it's very similar to? Absolutely. Absolutely. Similar, Absolutely. Okay. You notice anything same? So it's oh. most of the same. Ah, AKV ish. Yeah, the same size, just in a in the 223 round. What features are we looking at here, Josiah? I noticed there is side mounting, which is always very cool. Correct. And you guys are, you know, doing a lot of that, which is awesome. Yep. Side mount. Uh, they both have the combo block mm -hmm. uh, gas system, and you've got your uh, front sight right there. The P. Like Walter was showing with the AKV, has your front sight right hinge there. Hinge top cover. Yep, hinge mm -hmm. top cover, front sight. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Is your aim. And uh, Picatinny, obviously, on the Picatinny rail, top cover. and then uh, it's got the last round bolt hold open on the pistol, mm -hmm. and then you got your mag release there, as yeah. well as... A paddle and a button. Paddle and a button, like an AR, similar to an AR right there. Mm -hmm. The, uh, now, this is the first time that anybody's actually seen the, the pistol version of this in the wild. Mm -hmm. The rifle version is available on the website right now. Okay. Pistol version, this is the la one of the last ones in our production pre-production phase. Uh, the model that you can see on the website right now has this JMAC key mount break on it. Okay. Uh, so you can mount whatever suppressor you want on there. Okay, but cool. Right now, we're just switching back and forth. Mm -hmm. This one right now, this one, uh, there's... A bunch of different ones we just brought this one with us mm -hmm. this one has a little over 3,000 rounds right okay now. so we're about ready to finish up that uh, pre-production phase and go into permanent production mm -hmm. yes and we've been running it here so any questions on this Walter what would be your questions is this something that's interesting to you as a AK purist you're a gun guy uh, at the end of the day. You're a <laughs> yeah. um, I like to push your buttons. Yeah. <laughs> Beep. 
Yeah. Um, no, I mean it's cool that you can use the mags you already have. Yeah. Um, and there's, sure. you know, every, every there's mags of all shapes and sizes for the AR. So yeah, that's cool in that respect. Five five six. Cool. Yeah. I mean very. This is this is running like I mean it's really a lot of fun to shoot. You know. Drop that one. Okay, here we go. Oh, another thing, uh, yeah. AK people got the bulge type receiver, so that okay. means you got the extra meaty, extra meaty um, yeah. uh, barrel extension. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep, yep. Now, yep. I, you don't have adjustable uh, gas blocks in here, right? Not on these two. Okay. The adjustable gas block will be coming in future versions, just like mm -hmm. right here we've got the M4 style, but the adapter on it, this one has just your uh, foldable brace with a 1913 pick. Uh, adapter on the back, mm -hmm. but there's going to be a lot of different variations coming out, including models with an adjustable gas block. Okay, on there for some all right, action. cool. I know this isn't really out yet, so you guys probably haven't figured that out. What are you guys selling this for? Uh, I believe the basic model of this one is going for right around eight to eight fifty, and I mm -hmm. believe this guy is going to run nine to thousand right around there with the rail with the M4. And this has the uh, I would say like an upgraded type handguard. That's all right, right, yep. right. Because okay. you could probably get it with a, this type of handguard too, or it can be used in that style of handguard. Also. Yes, yep. Yeah. There there is a model on the website currently for sale that does have this style. Mm -hmm. this. How is this being received by folks out there? You know, are, are, do you guys find that people are looking to have these AK features, but to use a five, you know, their regular uh, P mags or? Absolutely, okay. there's a lot of people who are adopting this and who love it. We are uh, we currently have on the website and are selling uh, a true uh, 102, which mm -hmm. has the rock and lock mags on there. Uh, mm -hmm. We have do have that on sale. Uh, for sale on the website right now so the purists who want it without having to use uh, ar mags we've got that uh, available so that's that, that those little weird curved mags yes correct, <laughs> correct. <laughs> but for those who want it just to if use you want the AR full mags, experience you can rock those in yes so, you can. okay okay cool mags, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. i mean i don't know how else to say it walt <laughs> but it's cool that you can that you can rock that in right i don't know if anyone's done that before well you would know well that's a, a 5.56 ak mag mm -hmm. you're speaking of right oh, so okay it's, so it's out there okay mm -hmm. yeah. so that would be something that what the russians have that russians chinese okay. yugoslavians we're gonna be manufacturing our own mag here shortly okay like we do with 103 mags and mm -hmm. um and others we're we're in the process of making our own 102 mag right now the uh, 102 go out, goes out with ac uni mags they work mm -hmm. excellent so because of the mag well here you don't need that like super curve or anything in the magazine right no, it's I mean, a totally different magazine. Yeah, yeah it just yeah. feeds from a straight. I mean, yeah. you've been talking about this one, this one here. Yeah. Well, I know with 762, like, you know how. Well, because of the do, shape of the cartridge, you need yeah. to have more of a curvature. For it to this get is through a little there. bit straighter wall, so you have so you don't less need it. curvature. Mm -hmm. right, okay. So. All right. Yeah. So then, how did we wind up with a curve on those? Well, with those, with the AR, with those AR AK mags? Yes. Because the fact that they, you, obviously you can't put a curve in a straight mag well. Mm -hmm. So they go straight, then they curve. Right. Okay. And, and, yeah. And it's, it just throws me off well, <laughs> when I look at it. I'm like, what? What's happening? So okay, the, I get it. That's the remedy slash fix for mm -hmm. that. So okay. But with the five five six or two twenty three round, you don't care about that because you use the same damn mag. So yeah, it works. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys are gonna do all like what you usually do in terms of variations, all of that. Exactly. Okay. Just like with our GF three, GF four, GF fives, mm -hmm. it's gonna be all different types. You know, you're gonna have your fixed stock, fixed stock wood mm -hmm. or polymer with either a wood or a polymer hand guards, rail versions, all different in both the rifle and the pistol version. Cool. Okay, cool. What is the finish on these? Uh, Teflon coating. Teflon. On all of our AKs we use Teflon coating. Okay. And then triggers, standard triggers? Stan standard uh, AK style trigger on this. Okay. Yeah, we do have uh, some models, some are gonna be coming out on this that do have the uh, ALG AKT trigger on mm -hmm. it. Excellent, you know, for the, for the money you can't beat it. I yeah. believe it's about 70 bucks. Great up upgrade Yeah. the AKs. I can just say from us shooting, like this is cool, but this is so much fun. It is. <laughs> is this? Uh, I can do a, this all day. A question: Is this um, gas tube handguard your guys' design, or um, something you do in house, or is it? This is made for us, um, the gas tube and the rail by SLR. Okay. All right. Cool. You like how that it looks, looks? It looks really sturdy. Well, it's yeah. all bolted together, so yeah. Typically, the, the gas tubes on these guns are like like this, and you can't mount anything out there. Mm -hmm. This is all bolted down tight, so mm -hmm. you can do that. And then the barrels, what kind of barrels are we looking at? Okay, <laughs> both these barrels are made by our sister company, DC Machine. Okay. Uh, both of these are uh, nitride barrels, uh, 4150 
chromoly vanadium. We will be coming out in, uh, in the future, just like with the furniture with some cold hammer forge offerings. So if you guys can just explain to the folks out there, what's the difference between the chrome line and the nitrite barrels? Like why would I want one or the other? Sure. For the US military, chrome line was the spec that they wanted and it was, if you're in a situation where you can't clean your rifle right away, it, it's not gonna cause corrosion near as quick as without the chrome lining. Okay. But with your modern technology and the nitriding, it's just as good as a chrome lined barrel. Okay. Arguably, some people still okay. want that chrome lining, some people are, are fine with nitride, okay. but it's very close to technology. What do we get the better accuracy off of? Is that what? Non-chrome line. Non-chrome line. Non okay, Correct. so nitride is gonna give us a better accuracy. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's, it's smoother in there versus the chrome lining, which- And the chrome lining can wear out too with enough shooting you can shoot the chrome it's a lot though shoot the chrome lining out it is a lot but even with the chrome lining if you blow that up under a microscope it's very uneven that nitride mm -hmm. is much more even and smooth right. okay right 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 okay so in a case like this you're good with not with nitride but for the folks who want everything to be mil spec and yeah mil spec yeah. in the ar realm not yeah. in the ak realm yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not in this and a, and a chrome i don't know about nitride but i know a chrome line chamber is easier extracting too if i'm not mistaken yeah okay um, all right, that's good to know. I know I, I'm sure there's some people out there who will tell, fill us in on more yes. <laughs> of why this one over that one. Or some people will say, well, no, I'll wait until the chrome line comes out and when you do it in 10 millimeter. <laughs> the great debates of the gun world right here. Yes. Nitride versus uh, chrome line, right. AR mag adapter versus the 102 style. Yeah. It's all personal perfect. Tell us about the receiver. What's what's the deal with that? It's a stamped receiver, one millimeter thickness, and even going as far as the uh, the, the front trunnion as well. It's a, it's a bulge front trunnion made of 4340 aircraft quality uh, steel. Uh, forging. Yes, it is forged. Yep, forging. just like the carrier, bolt, the, <laughs> the front And when people say, now people I hear that it's forged or milled or whatever, but I'm, I'm, I think milled receiver, but everybody's mostly nowadays talking about forged trunnions, forged bolts machine bolts, machine mm -hmm. trunnions, because there are at one time cast trunnions out there and they were bad juju. Yes. So yeah, they came yep. apart, had problems. Yes, yeah, so. we only use forged parts. Yep. Yeah. Thanks so much for letting us take a look at this before anyone else does. How soon do you think we're actually gonna see those out there? Uh, they're on the website right now. Oh, they are? As a teaser. Okay. It'll be within the next few months. Just don't know exactly mm -hmm. when, but it'll be soon. Absolutely. Any more questions, Walt? No, I'm good. All right, so if, if folks want to know more about this, where do they go, Josiah? Just go to palmettostatearmory.com, uh, click on the AK tab, and you'll find them there. Okay, big thanks to Josiah of PSA for coming in and doing this with us. And of course, Walter of Safety Harbor Firearms <laughs> uh, for being here as well. We're out of here. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out hamstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.